Uh, welcome back to the channel, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, in the previous video, I took a second look at my laser VDE torque wrenches. Uh, since the Ghidorah Drummer test was all set up for that video, I thought I'd do this video on the Vera Click Torque Wrench you see in the picture there. Um, I've also got the Laser 1342 Torque Wrench that I tested in a previous video. I'll put a link to that video in the description box below should you want to go and watch that. Now the torque wrench from Laser, that can be set from 3 to 80 foot-pounds, which is equivalent to 4 to 108 newton meters. It is 3 8 drive. Uh, nowadays it does come in a blow molded box. When I purchased this 30 years ago, it just came in a cardboard box and a polystyrene molding. And at the moment you can pick this up from Amazon for around about 50 pounds. The Vera torque wrench behind, this is the B2 version of the torque wrench. So it can be set from 20 to 100 newton meters, which is equivalent to 15 to 73 foot pound. Um, no blow molded case with this. You just get this in this sleeve style case uh, that is quite popular with torque wrenches over in Europe. But I do know that's not to everybody's liking. Uh, also in the box, you get a calibration certificate. Uh, with this and the average calibration is 0.38 percent uh, so we'll see how close we can get to that um, whereas this torque wrench is a four percent torque wrench the Vera is a three percent torque wrench um, the only thing I do need to be a little bit careful of is actually it's test at 28 degrees C it's quite high actually isn't it yeah okay so that's something just to be wary of as we go through the testing. Uh, you do get a little uh, instruction sheet as well, and then uh, in more of a pictorial diagram as well of how to operate the torque wrench. Uh, you can see that both the wrenches sat in front of you there. The laser torque wrench is 100% metal, a uh, bit more of a slimline approach in comparison to the Vera torque wrench, and it is a bit shorter as well. And we are looking at uh, around about two inches shorter, which is 50 millimeters in new money. Both wrenches are 3 8 drives, as I've said there. Uh, yeah, probably that's probably the bit more wear on the uh, laser torque wrench with all the work that it's done. This is fairly new uh, in comparison. And they're both set in the same manner with the laser here, you can uh, move the collar here to the setting that you want. Uh, you have uh, 0.5 graduations on the barrel here, and then the major graduations on the actual shaft there. The setting can be locked just by doing up this nut here, uh, and then it's locked in position, so you don't move the setting. Uh, in comparison, the Vera torque wrench you can probably see the setting on that much easier. Um, this, the graduations are again 0.5 as you move it up and then the major graduations in the top window there and then to lock this in place you just put the button in there at the back and then it's locked. So that's pretty much the basics of the wrench. We'll get set up to do some testing. Uh, when I tested this laser torque wrench uh, I tested at 25, 40 and 70 newton meters. So I'll test the Vera torque wrench at those settings as well for a direct comparison. And the laser torque wrench was 80% readings were in tolerance. That's 24 out of the 30 readings met the plus or minus 4% tolerance band. So I'll move the camera so it sits on the Dremo test and we'll see how well we do. Okay, so I'm not sure how well you'll be able to make this out. We are set to 25 foot-pound there. Um, the foot-pound is down this side, which isn't quite so bold as the newton meter ranges there. I guess with the wrench coming from Germany, it's predominantly aimed more at newton meters rather than the old English settings. Uh, but we'll do three tests on this so you get an idea of what it's like. 
25.1 again. Okay, we'll move it up to the uh, 40 foot pound now. So that's 40 there. Again, not sure how well you'll be able to tell. Mm, just want to focus this time. Okay, do three on this and see how we get on. So that's those three there. Okay, we are now almost at the top of the range of the uh, wrench there. Set to 70 foot pound. Obviously, it maxes out 73 foot pound. We'll do three tests as an example 69.6. Sixty-eight point six. Okay, so that's the testing completed on the wrench. We'll punch all these into the computer and see what we come back with. So that's the testing all complete. As you can see, it went very, very well. Uh, the results speak for themselves. I put the tables up. The methodology is exactly the same as when I tested the laser torque wrench with the bottom table there being the one that we're most interested in as that's where I've adjusted the values obtained during the tests based upon the calibration data for the Dremo Test E. And you can see that all 30 readings with the Vera torque wrench are well within tolerance there. Overall I had an average of 0.70% based upon those 30 readings. The average on the Vera calibration sheet was 0.38%. Uh, I have tested it at different values, and as I pointed out, the temperature is quite a bit different. I'm running around about 18, 19 degrees C here. Um, they tested at 28 degrees C. I'm not sure how much that would have affected the values there. But yeah, very, very, very nice wrench. I uh, can't complain it really, can you, when you produce results like that. Um, but it is 30 years more advanced than the, the poor old laser torque wrench there and obviously hasn't seen the service so uh, we'll have to see how we get along with it. Obviously it is quite a bit more of a plasticky unit in comparison to the laser torque wrench which you can always get good grip with this. I'm not sure how well this will be when it's got oil and dirt on the handle although I do tend to look after torque wrenches of this nature so I do keep them clean and uh, well maintained. However the performance does come at a price uh, in comparison, I said this retails these days for around about £50. The Vera Torque wrench uh, from the same Amazon is £152, so three times the price. But as the saying goes, you do get what you pay for, and I think the Vera has probably shown that with these tests. Uh, but that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful, and I'll see you again in the next one.